Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at 31.72. Um, we have a capacitor that we're going to close the switch here and let the charge uh, sort of drain out of the capacitor. And what's going to happen is that some of the energy in the system is going to leave the system as thermal energy. Okay, and that thermal energy is going to leave the system according to this equation here. Okay, and there are three different formulas for the power. Uh, we're going to work with, I guess, I squared R. And so the energy that we dissipate, total energy that we dissipate over time, uh, over the entire time, we'll just multiply both sides by t, I'm sorry, by dt, and we'll get uh, d e is equal to i squared r dt. Okay, and so uh, now we're going to integrate that okay. to figure out the entire amount of uh, energy dissipated on this resistor. Now let me just let's create some nomenclature here too. This R is going to be our just they want to know what is the energy dissipated through one capacitor. So um, we'll call this our R25. Okay and so we'll take the integral of both sides. This will just undo itself and we'll get the thermal energy is equal to the integral and we're going to look at this thing as it goes off into infinity of I squared R dt. Why are we looking at this as it goes off into infinity? Okay, well the thermal energy is related to the current and the resistance. Well the current is not fixed in this system, right? What we're going to see in an RC circuit is that the current drops off over time exponentially um, as a, a decay problem. And so right now the I that we're working with in this part of the equation is actually a variable that's function that fluctuates with time. Okay, so it's really I of T. And another way to write this I of T is to say that it is the I, it's I naught instantaneous um, current at the very, very first second that the circuit is closed times negative T over tau. And tau is our time constant RC. T equals RC. This is R total times the total capacitance of the system. Total resistance times the total capacitance. And I've already calculated it out. It's 31.25 microseconds. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this I here with this equation right here because this is a constant so then we'll have an equation where the only uh, variable is this T up here okay so let's do that we get E thermal is the integral uh, from 0 to infinity of I naught squared times R25 times E to the negative 2T. Remember we squared this thing. So we get I squared and then we get E to the negative T times tau squared E to the negative T over tau squared and so that multiplies in. So we get e to the negative 2 t 
over tau dt. Okay. Remember, I naught is a constant. R, uh, the resistance is just a property of the resistor, and so those things come out of the integral, and so we get E equals I I naught squared R 25 times the integral of E to the negative 2t over tau dt. That's from zero to infinity. Okay, and um, uh, you can hopefully figure out how to take this integral. It's um, it's going to be one half tau to the e, uh, one half tau e to the negative two t over tau. Okay, and you can just check that, and you'll find out that uh, that should work. So we get e is equal to i naught squared r twenty five times e to the, oops, times one half, and I'm sorry, that's negative one half too, um, tau e to the negative 2t over tau evaluated from zero to infinity. Okay, and it looks like we're almost there. We have one little problem, however, and that is that we don't actually know what I naught is. So we need to figure out what I naught is. So best way to do that is to just walk around our circuit, see what we get. Um, and we'll leave all the numbers out for the time being. So we'll pick a point like right here and we'll travel around the capacitor like that. We step across the capacitor which has 50 volts and so our Remember, the sum of the voltages around this loop will equal zero. So we step around the capacitor and we get a V. Then we go through the resistors. And let's just think of the resistors as being combined because they're in series and so they add. Okay, so it's just going to be a 125 ohm resistor. So it's going to be minus I times R. Just going over that one resistor, R total. And that equals zero. Let's look at that here on the side. So we got V minus I times R total equals zero. Okay. Well, V is, we'll leave V as it is. Remember what the definition of I is. This is something you just have to remember. I equals DQ DT. So let's actually plug that into the equation. dq dt, so we don't forget what it is. Okay? And when we look at the, it, it's the slope, uh, it's the slope of our decay graph, of our uh, decaying current here that we're looking at. So we know that this actually has to be negative, which would make this entire thing positive, right? So then we get V is equal to, let's bring the whole this over to the other side and we'll actually really get a negative DQ over DT now times R, but let's just divide the R out. So we get V over our total. Uh, times R. Yeah, divided by R. R total. Okay, so nice. We have a new way of speaking of this current. So now we're going to plug in V over R total into the current. So we get V squared over R total squared times R25. And let's bring the one the negative one half out here. So I'll just set this negative one. We'll make this two. Uh, and then we get a tau. Uh, let's expand tau while we're at it too. Remember what tau is, it's RC, right? R total times R25. 
times c, and then e to the negative 2t over tau from 0 to infinity. OK, so this rt cancels one of those. And that's it. We're done. We get negative v squared times c, right here, times r25, v, c, r25, over 2, r total, times e to the negative 2t, over tau evaluated from 0 to infinity. And remember that e to the negative something is really 1 over e to that thing. So uh, e to the negative 2t, when we plug in the infinity, this blows up to infinity. e to the infinity is infinity, but it's 1 over e to the infinity. And so that goes to infinity, so you get 1 over infinity, which is 0. And e to the minus 1, I'm sorry, e to the 0 is just going to be minus, is going to be 1. So we get 0 minus 1. And then when we look at that, we've got a negative 1 here that we're going to be multiplying this into. And so this negative and that negative will cancel out. And so your final answer is going to be v squared times c times r25 over 2 r total. Okay? Hope that helps.